And here we are in the heart of our busy and noisy city of Manchester outside the Portico Library, which is still in its original Georgian building, one of the only Georgian buildings left in Manchester. And come with me and we'll go in because it's free to enter. Anyone can enter. All you need to do is press that button and you will be allowed into this gem of Manchester. There are a lot of stairs. But you'll also notice the portico understands people need a rest. So there are chairs along the way. So prepare yourself for the beauties of the portico library. So in 1806, when the Portico Library opened, the first secretary was a Mr. Roger. Yes, that is Roger of Roger's Thesaurus. But it isn't just people who write books who are members of the Portico Library. Eric Cantona was a member as well. And the Portico is one of Manchester's favourite lunch spots and has been since 1806. And you can dine under the dome. You'll also notice that there is a weather vane in the far corner. That's not a clock. It's actually saying 20 to west at the moment. The Portico Library is also famous for being home to polite literature. And that might not mean quite the same thing now as it did in 1806. Polite literature meant reading for pleasure. And uh, something else that the Portico Library has is an adopt a book scheme. The books you can see here with white tapes tied around them are in need of some TLC. And you can adopt a book and get it rebound. As well as being a library, the Portico is home to a lovely shop with postcards and uh, notebooks with items from the library on them. And it's also an exhibition space with regular free exhibitions. You can come into the library anytime and see the exhibitions and all the exhibitions are related to the collection and tell a story about the collection. And isn't that what libraries are for? to tell stories.